I wonder if he can see me. Do you think he can see me? All right, now, boom. Today's location, Birmingham. Where are we at? Rocker Burger. Does it taste nice? Let's find out. All I want to know is, does it taste nice? Rocker burger. I can see you guys rocking and rolling. Shamoun, you done nice, I like thing. Let's go straight into menu choices and value for money. Because when we talk about menu choices, as you can see, they're expansive. Bigger than my head top, and I've got a big head top. Yeah, I mean, the options range from the crispy chicken, classic or spicy burger. I mean, you got the barbecued beef. I mean, you got the flaming hot Cheeto beef burger. You got the loaded fries. You got everything you could ever desire. Yeah, so the menu choices are very good, very good. Very expensive indeed. Mm -hmm. So we ordered the Funny Francis burger. Now, this is a make your own burger, which you can only get in store. So when you go there, ask for the Funny Francis burger. This consists of crispy chicken classic, two beef patties and a grilled chicken fillet, yeah? So all in all, the Funny Francis burger comes up to 10 pounds. And then we ordered loaded fries. This consists of the chicken, yeah? Loaded fries, sauce, all them good things there at 375. And then we ordered the strawberry, jabby dodger, milkshake at 375. And then for the dessert, we got the fried Oreos at £4.95. All in all, the accumulation and addition equals a grand total of £22.45 on the dot. So let's talk about value for money because Rocker Burger, I really like what you're doing. First of all, let's just talk about the loaded fries. You're getting a good proportion in the loaded fries. I like the depth, I like the perimeter. Value for money and that was serious. When we talk about the Funny Francis, the make your own burger, that was mad. You're getting a good density. It's holding weightage like a newborn baby taking the protein shake, the Maxi Pro, with Semi and Panda and them man there, and Carly Muscle and them man there. So yeah, even the burger holding weightage. The strawberry milkshake and the Oreo fried thing, they're holding good circumferences in their standardized cups. So yeah, as a whole, the value for money was decent, I must say, it was decent. Mm -hmm. So many choices and value for money, I'm giving you guys eight out of 10, because look, I really like the density, the volume, the quantity in the loaded fries. Rocker Barker, you lot are doing your thing properly. Many choice in the value for money, eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. Before we eat, let's pray. In the book of Smash Patty Burgers, Chapter 7, verse 8. God asks Funny Francis, does it taste nice? Funny Francis said, let's hit the belly and find out. Talking son, it's, it's dinner time. <laughs> So let's move on to first bite and overall taste because wow, that's a reflux, excuse me. Let's go into the make your own, that funny Francis burger because you're greeted by two patties. That's a reflux, Gaviscon, soon land, yeah? Now these patties are maintaining pepper. They're maintaining all the seasonings that make them what they are in this world. When you first take the bite, you get that kind of meat texture from the actual meat itself. Why are you coming so close, buddy? Oh, yeah, my brother. <laughs> yeah, and then you get the pepper and the infusion of the salt that's on there. Pepper and salt makes a big difference. It's basic commodities, like a 4-4-2 formation, but when you're trying to win the Champions League final, it, it might help you out one day, it's a mad thing. But yeah, the patties were cooked exceptionally well, maintaining moisture. When we go on to the, to the grilled chicken breast, cooked exceptionally well. You can really taste the enrichness and sharpness from that peri-peri kind of sauce that boss man's painted onto the thing. Picasso out here in the ends. It's a mad thing, yeah? So another good addition to the burger. And then you got the crunchiness from the southern fried chicken breast. Now, I asked boss man if that's a KFC recipe because it's tasting similar. You lot need to let Colonel KFC out of the, out of the attic. 
or let him out the basement because what you what you like what you guys are replicating is a mad thing. The flavours on that were good. The bun as well maintained the good geophysical structure on the burger. And wow, very nice burger indeed. When we move on to the loaded fries, the chips themselves, they were lacking a vertebrae. They had no backbone. They weren't standing strong on the battlefield. They were hiding. You get me? Leaving Ukraine, going to Poland, then coming to England for refuge. They're not staying there and taking on Putin in their mind. Because these chips had no backbone. And obviously, the fact that they had no backbone was a disaster waiting to happen. They seeped all the flavours, all the juices, all the cheese sauce, and then it became an eaten mess. Although that's a very nice dessert, by the way. You like what I did there? I did too. So yeah, on the other hand though, when we talk about the actual flavour, the toppings, the cheese sauce is mad, the jalapenos are at a nice, sharp, but yet not so sharp kick. You get a, you get an incision between the two, and then you got the southern fried chicken breast that's been sliced by boss man and put on there. It's, it's working, it's working. But yeah, the loaded box, it was decent, it was decent. But cook your chips a bit longer, yeah. And when we move on to the desserts now, that boss man came out, with, the milkshake, that jammy dodger milkshake, that was very good. That was very good, I must say. It's not as good as Food Lover MC. You'll see that episode. I'll put I'll, I'll, I'll put something here so you can see that episode. So you know what I'm talking about. But still, Rocker Burger, your strawberry jammy dodger milkshake was still decent. The game changer, what really let them down and got man sent off in the 90th minute, yeah, like Diego Simeone, was the fact that this fried Oreo kind of thing was mad. It, it, it was too stodgy. It was a pancakey kind of stodgy kind of tasteless piece of flour and sugar. Yeah, it, it was lacking taste. Obviously, the ice cream in there was meant to revive it like CPR. It just killed off the thing. This thing that they made up was dead. Obviously, Bossman revealed to me that whoever made their menu came up with the idea of fried buttered Oreos. Now, Rocco Burger, you need to suck him because whatever the idea was, it doesn't sit well with me. It's sitting somewhere over there. It's not sitting with me. But yeah, as a whole, it was decent, it was decent, I, 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 I must admit. First bite and overall taste was decent still. So first bite and overall taste, I'm giving you guys 8.5 out of 10. Because look, the accumulation of flavors in the burger, in the loaded fries, in the milkshake, set you on a pedestal. But what really knocked off a couple legs was the idea to have battered Oreos as a dessert, because it didn't work. So that brought the scores back down to earth like Apollo 13. But overall, 8.5 out of 10. Not a bad score. So let's talk about cleanliness and customer service. Because Rocker Burger, I really love the energy and passion in your team. Let's first of all talk about cleanliness. Because it's important to note that Bilal, Jalal and Shalal all have on gloves. On the flip side, you guys kept all the buckets and the mops and the brushes in one corner of the building. That, that didn't really sit well with me. They should be in a neat array, perhaps in the cupboard or in a cleaning facility designed to keep those things facilitized. Yeah? Does that make sense? You know, I make up words now, yeah? So don't even come at me. But yeah, the cleanliness, it was decent. Obviously, the seating area where I was sitting and eating my food, the tables were clean. Obviously, the furniture was clean. So yeah, as a whole, cleanliness was good. We've gone to customer service. This is where they, they gave me that warm, fuzzy feeling. You get me? Like that bunny rabbit that's about to go into your soup. It's, it's, it's a fuzzy one. Because I like the fact that boss man dealing with the thing behind the counter, full of energy, full of vibes. You can tell he's a product of his environment. He's came from the trenches, but he's not a part of the trenches. He left the trench early before they even blew the whistle to attack the German lines. That's how eager he was to get out of the trenches. And he's out of them now. He's doing it big in Rakafela. It's a mad thing. The smiles, energy and charisma in his team was amazing. I'm still feeling the vibe right now, even though we filmed inside there about three hours ago. It's a mad thing. But as a whole, cleanliness and customer service is very good indeed. I must admit. So cleanliness and customer service, I'm giving you guys eight. 0.75 out of 10 because look I love the sense of unity family the main man behind the operation is full of charisma and I like the fact that you guys have managed to keep the place relatively clean but obviously next time put your cleaning utensils where they should be and next time you'll you'll, you'll get a higher score next time but overall 8.75 out of 10 it's not bad very good indeed so let's look at the overall scores for a Kabbalah. I think they're rocking and rolling their way to a decent score. <clears throat> so many choices and value for money. Eight out of ten. First bite and overall taste. Eight point five out of ten. Mm -hmm. 
and cleanliness and customer service. 8.75 out of 10. And when we look at the overall accumulation, we're looking at a grand total of 25.25 out of 30. Now look, these are very, very, very stable scores. You guys are in and amongst the, the, the Europa League positions, fighting with man like Tottenham and then Monday. You guys are not getting relegated anytime soon. Just patting up certain things here and there. Get rid of that Oreo dessert fried in butter abomination to human life and your thing will be up next time. But 25.25, it's a decent score. Mm -hmm. So we've come to the part of the show where all we want to know is, does it taste nice? And my answer is, yes it does, it's a mad thing. Because you know what now? The way that Rocket Burger have a carbonized, galvanized, rejuvenated, culverated, in play. Their flavours are mad, let's put it that way, yeah? The thesaurus dictionary is not ready for man like me. The burger was good, the dirty fries were good, the chips and the dirty fries themselves could have been tried a bit longer. But yeah, it's a place where you can go with the man then, because you've got that dynamic. You can go with the missus, and does it taste nice? Yes, it does indeed. Mad thing. Mm -hmm.